Good morning, Baba. Bonjour, Alan. Ça va? Ça va, et vous? Ça va très bien, merci. Bonjour, Thierry. Good morning, Barbara. Hello. <laughs> I wish I was an artist. I could just sing with your, your name, Barbara Lundu. Barbara Lundu. Okay. Oh, someone's inspired. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, today we are interested in two controversial topics today. We start with a case that shakes Hollywood. Unless you live on the planet Mars, you may have heard about the controversy around Harvey Weinstein, this powerful American producer, accused of sexual harassment and even raped by dozens of women, whether they are anonymous or actresses like Angelina Jolie or Lupita, to name only them, because the list is too long. This case of sexual harassment that shakes the American film industry is not unique to Hollywood. In Nigeria, also sexual harassment is problematic in Nollywood, the third largest film industry in the world ahead of Hollywood and after Bollywood in India. Some actresses have mentioned the subject, but very few have openly denounced the behavior, not very professional or even moved, we'll like to say that, of some producers, directors, etc. Yet recently the Union of Actors of Nollywood has elected to its head a new director who wants to tackle sexual harassment. According to him, sexual harassment exists indeed, but few actresses actresses dare to speak publicly. Listen to him. In my position as a national president, I have not received any report officially about sexual harassment. But it is something I already know it must have been existing somewhere but people just don't want to talk about it. In my opinion, why they don't have to speak out is that uh, they tend to feel that they are exposing themselves to more ridicule or more danger. They don't want themselves to be put in the spotlight and uh, they have not seen anybody who, who has been punished for sexually harassing people. One of his first statements he made last September when he took his job is that he intends to eradicate sexual harassment in Nollywood. He tells us how it, he intends to do it. Listen. We have begun to inform our female members to stop going to auditions that are, are being done in very secret places where there are not much uh, information to the public about where the auditions are taking place. And then we want to go to the National Assembly and the uh, State Assembly to begin to promulgate laws on anything in sex roles. So if you want to make a film, you don't have to speak to young girls to come and give you their bodies before you cast them in a role. So when you are caught, should have a, a, a legislative advocacy that we deal with such issues. So sexual harassment is not something that is specific to the film industry, either in Nollywood or in Hollywood. It is found all over the world and in areas of society, whether at work, in the private circle, ATC. So we do not know if he will succeed in ending sexual harassment in Nollywood, but we wish him good luck in his approach. We go to the picture and the subject of our second controversial subject. It happened in a museum in China and it's in an exhibition, officially, was supposed to show the harmony between man and nature in Africa. And to show this so-called harmony, the photographer chose to put Africans side to side with animals. Well, I don't know about you, Hannah and Jerry, but I've never met a giraffe or an elephant in the street since I was in Congo. So I don't know what harmony with nature they speak. In any case, thousands of people went to see this exhibition without seeing any problem. And it took the African community of China to be unworthy in the face of these images so that finally the organizers decided to close the exhibition. So we know that Alors, one of the favorite insults of racists is to say uh, that we Africans look like apes. For example, there were cases where black football players were greeted by monkey cries in the stadiums where the supporters tossed them bananas. And so this association between Africans and animals that has made this exhibition is very serious because these are the kind of thoughts that have led to theories about the hierarchy of races to slavery. You're not human beings, so we can sell you as animals or as objects. And it has also led to the existence of human zoos in the West. These are the images of the screens in Europe, France, Germany, Belgium, and Putin zoos, and people came to watch them as well as animals because they had never seen Africans in their lives. Today, in 2017, it is interesting to see that the imaginary of some black um, is still not considered a full-fledged human being. And that is why racism, which has taken a different form nowadays, it is much more insidious. It is also difficult to educate, but we hope. That's all for the chronique aujourd'hui. On se retrouve dans quelques jours. On va meet in a few days.